Moving further, in what comes as more fresh trouble for Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, the head of UK's budget watchdog, Richard Hughes, has called the country's 2025 spending plans unsustainable. Now, commenting on the plan's workability, Hughes called the spending plan unclear and said that it does not even qualify as a work of fiction, in fact. And the statement comes as the current spending review is set to expire by April 2025. The review chalks out detailed plans for the expenditures of government departments beyond the fiscal year's end. UK's Office for Budget Responsibility is forced to base its forecast on assumptions over the government's daily capital expenditures. Richard Hughes also warned that the government post-election will have to rethink the government budget. Hughes expressed concern over government's ability to provide medical support to an ageing population. Now, since the financial crisis and the pandemic, UK's national debt has swollen from 40% to almost 100% of the country's GDP and shows no signs of reduction. Meanwhile, soaring debt and shrinking budget is not the only thing that the British government is facing. A senior Tory MP, Simon Clark, has also called on Prime Minister Rishi Sunak to resign from his duties. The former cabinet minister said, that the Conservatives face, quote-unquote, an electoral massacre under Prime Minister Sunak's leadership. In an article, the former minister called the UK Prime Minister's leadership uninspiring. Following Tory MP Simon Clark's statement, the head of One Nation Caucus, Damien Green, took to his social media account on Platform X to call Clark's intervention wrong and unwise. Liam Fox, the country's former Defence Secretary, also called out the statements of the Tory MP.